The diagram shows a smooth, thin tube, so no friction, through which passes a string with masses m, lowercase m, and uppercase m attached to its ends. The tube is moved so that the mass lowercase m travels in a horizontal circle, so basically around like this, of constant radius r and at constant speed of v, which one of the following expressions is equal to capital M. So let's draw a force diagram. For capital M, we have tension going upwards, so let's call that T, and then we have weight, capital Mg, going down. For the mass that we have here, we have tension acting towards the left. That is the same tension that we have over here because this is a smooth tube, so the tension will carry through all the way along the string. Both masses experience the same tension force. There is also a downwards weight force, but that doesn't contribute towards the centripetal force, so we can ignore that. The centripetal force, if we assume the string is horizontal, would just be T. So if that's the centripetal force, T is equal to mv squared over r. And from the diagram that we have over here, the force diagram, T must also be equal to mg. It's in equilibrium, so this mass, it's not moving up or down, it's not accelerating, T will equal to mg. We can then equate the two things. mg is equal to mv squared over r, and we're trying to work out capital M, so capital M will then be mv squared over rg, which is c.